What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Thrill Pack Cards. I'm your host, Josh. I make videos about the wide and wonderful world of sports card collecting. Hey, if this is your first time here and you want to learn how you could build your collection in all sorts of fun and affordable ways, discover some of the best sports card investments for 2020, and all sorts of other sports card related stuff, you're in the right place. So make sure you start now by subscribing and clicking that bell so you don't miss anything. Today we're doing a rip and review of the Dunk Crate subscription box and we're getting started right now. All right, so per usual, let's get started on their website. See what types of products they have to offer. They actually have separate websites for each sport. They have Dunk Crate, they have uh, End Zone Crate. I'm not sure if they have a baseball one. So the one that we're doing today is the Dunk Crate. They actually sent us this for free because we ordered the End Zone Crate. They actually sent us the Dunk Crate. Uh, but normally, if you paid for it, it would be $59, including shipping. So we're going to do the review as if we paid the $59 to, in order to be able to compare apples to apples to the other subscription box services. So it says that it's got baseball cards and other items in them so we've got mid-end i think that means mid-range 10 mid-range basketball packs we've got one autograph card and we've got one game used card and the autograph card is going to be a dual autograph card either on card auto uh or sorry it's either going to be on card or it's going to be a relic auto and then it says several fun mystery items and more surprises. So a couple of other things that they throw in there. So here's what the box looks like. It's got their logo on the front. It actually has a really nice packaging design, very appealing color choices in my opinion. Let's break into this without any further ado. Hopefully the pack selection is a little bit better than the end zone crate i was not very happy with that pack selection to be honest so fingers crossed on that let's take a quick inventory of what we got in here and then we'll get to ripping so we got the thank you card oh that's cool we got a little poker chip or two poker chips. That's I like that much more than the. Uh, what did we get? Uh, Jeff Blake card in a can. Logo bands. I'm not sure what these are. No idea what those are. Oops. We got a starting lineup. Not in the packaging anymore. Mark Jackson starting lineup. And then this is going to be our hit. That's our autograph card. We'll save that for last. This actually has more more freebies in it than the uh, football one. More non-card related stuff. We got a Thunder logo or a sticker. And we got a Upper Deck sticker. I would Honestly, I'd rather have more cards than this stuff. I really have no interest in the toys. Their uh, box design is really cool on the inside too. They have images of different hobby boxes lining the inside of the box. So really well done on the packaging design in my opinion. All right, let's get into the pack. So unfortunately I see the retail packs again. The cards, the packs that just have four in it. You can find these packs at Target, Walmart type of places, sometimes at the Dollar Tree as well. Let's see, what year is this? Doesn't even show the year on the front. I guess it's 2018. Yeah, 2017, 2018. <clears throat> 2016, 2017. Got a couple of those. Got a jumbo pack. That's pretty nice. We didn't get any jumbo packs in the end zone crate. We got another one of those retail packs for 2016-17. A 
We've got 2015, 2016. Put that at the bottom. We've got 2016, 2017. 2016, 2017. We've got a vintage pack of 90 hoops. I always like opening those. And we've got, I wonder if this was actually from the gold level. That's gonna be, I'll have to find that out because it almost seems like these packs are from a higher end product, not the not the one that we looked at on the website, the one that was $59. It might be from the level, one level above that. That's what I kind of suspect here, just based on looking at the packs and comparing it to what we had in the end zone crate. So I'll have to figure out how to factor that into the review. We got 2015, 2016 here. All right, so let's start with the most recent pack and then go backwards. So we're gonna go with the 2017, 2018 first. And for here, I think Donovan Mitchell, Jason Tatum, those are the kind of guys we're looking for. Maybe a Kyle Kuzma or Alonzo Ball, but there's only four, four cards in here, so not really having good, good odds. And I really wish that they didn't include any of these retail packs, or if they did, just include it as a bonus. Derek Rose, feel really bad for Derek Rose. I mean, he would have been a heck of a player if he didn't get injured so many times. I still had a pretty good year coming off his last injury, but... Oh, there we go. Donovan Mitchell, rookie. That's probably... I think that's probably the best card we could have gotten. I think it books for about $8. So, if you get it graded and it's a PSA 10, I'm, I'm, I haven't checked those sold prices recently, but I'm guessing it's probably two to three times that. So, that's pretty fresh. And then the last one, Wayne Selden. I'm going to sleeve up the Donovan Mitchell right away. Before we get any fingerprints on it, because the fingerprints really show up easily on these, these optic cards. By the way, if you have a, <clears throat> a pair of sunglasses and it comes with that soft cloth and you get a fingerprint on here, if you just really gently rub over the top of it, make sure you're using the right type of cloth. The fingerprint will come up. So that's a pretty sweet Donovan Mitchell. I don't think I have that. And it looks like it's got potential to be a 10. So pretty good luck right off the bat on the first pack. Starting things off right for sure. Okay, next pack, 2016, 2017. I think best rookie from that class is Ben Simmons. Fingers crossed for Ben Simmons. Dirk Favors, Vujicic, Grant Hill, Carl Anthony Towns. I think that's a second year card. That's not bad. Crusade. I don't know what the odds are on this, but it's a nice looking card. Clay, Karis Levert, rookie card. He just had a, uh, before the, before they suspended basketball, I saw he had a crazy like 50 point night or something this guy developed a ton after he graduated and even while he was at Michigan he turned into quite the player I think he's the best player to come out of Michigan and since probably Juwan Howard so that's pretty good Karis Levert rookie card if he continues to improve this card is only going to go up in value and we had Al Jefferson by the way, if you're curious about other subscription box services, you're thinking about possibly trying one, you can check out all of our other videos about subscription box services. Just click on that info icon in the top right. We actually did a review of the end zone crate, which is the football version of that. So you can find that up there in the top right. Let's move Donovan out of the way a little bit. All right, 2016, 2017. 
2016-2017, so still going for Ben Simmons. Jamal Murray is also in here. Pascal Siakam, who's also improved a lot. Paul Pierce. I didn't realize he was still playing. Guy played forever. Seth Curry. Mm. Nothing in the retail pack, really. Still in 2016-2017. Uh, <clears throat> Funny, another Paul Pierce, Erlen's Noel, Paul George. Looks like some type of parallel card, clear card. I love clear cards, so that's pretty sweet. Come on, there we go. Look at that. Clear cards are dope. I don't know why they don't make more of those. D'Angelo Russell's second year card. I don't know why Golden State traded for him. I think, feel like that was a waste of time. It's pretty obvious he wasn't going to fit into that, their system and they got rid of him in a year. Right, same pack. It's on white side. Dirk. Ooh. What is this? Henry Ellison. Ellenson. Some type of refractor type card. Not the greatest player though. Jordan Hill. Can't really read the names on here too easily. Not the greatest design for printing the names. Okay, we got the Jumbo Pack 2016-2017. Hopefully we can pull a Ben Simmons out of here. I have to cut this. First half, Thon Maker, Taj Gibson, Michael Carter Williams, what set is this, Complete? Hmm. I don't think I've ever heard of that set. Nothing there. Here's Levert. Oh, another Karis LeVert rookie. Put that aside. Hmm, not much in here. What's this? LeBron. Home card. Kyrie. Put both of those aside. James Harden, put him aside. Eh, not really in love with that set. Okay, Don Russ, 
Ricky Rubio. It's a nice photo. Ooh, I think I saw. I think I saw it. Ooh, bam. There you go. Ben Simmons rookie card. Probably the best base card we could get in there. Look at that beauty. That's in perfect shape. That's a 10 all day long, in my opinion. <clears throat> Until I get a look at the back, of course. Get rid of that little schmutz. Look at the back. Yep. That's got to be a 10. If that's not a 10, I don't know what it is. So that might be worth getting graded. Got it top loaded, ready for display. All right, let's see who I missed in this pack. Kyle Lowry. Willie Colley Stein. No other rookies that are worth pulling out. 2015, 2016. Hoping for a Devin Booker or a Jokic. Devin Booker had a, I think it was like around this time last year, he had the 55 point game. It kind of came out of nowhere. Assistance from the scissors here. It's like a dummy card on the back. Maybe that's protecting something good. Eric Gordon, it's going to make me do the rotation, Robert Covington, Derek Williams, Steph Curry, Jeff Teague, Cody Zeller, ooh, there you go, numbered DeMarcus Cousins, prestigious pros, numbered out of 99, that's dope. I'm surprised he didn't pan out to be mu a much better player. He was pretty much unstoppable in college. That team was stacked, as Kentucky always is. That was a really sharp-looking card. Look at that. Numbered out of 99. So let's sleeve that guy up. I should do it the other way around, but that's all right. That's pretty fresh. A couple nice hits so far. I'm thinking our luck was pretty good. About 80, uh, almost 90% way. I guess we only got two packs left. Make sure I didn't miss anybody in here. Oh. Nope. All right. Twenty fifteen, twenty sixteen. 
still going for Devin Booker here. Okay, starting off with a Chris Paul. This is Panini Threads, by the way. Chris Paul, put him aside. Rodney Hood. Wow, they, those, these basketball sets, they really make the the names hard to read. New Orleans Noel. Had a lot more potential than he's lived up to so far. Monte Ellis. Derek Favors. Got some type of dummy card. Wish that was a relic card. Oscar Robinson tribute card. Carmelo Anthony. Otto Porter and Sas Sasha Vujicic. Oh, I forgot. We got the, uh, the autograph hit coming up after the hoops, too. So for the hoops, we're looking for Jordan. And also the Mark Jackson card has been blowing up lately because it's got the Menendez brothers sitting on the sideline and at the at Madison Square Garden, I believe. I think that's where they're playing. Got Hakeem, Patrick Ewing, Scotty Pippen. So I'll put Hakeem and Scotty to the side. Probably that probably means we're not gonna get Michael Jordan. David Robinson, checklist card. Johnny Dawkins, Michael Thompson, Chuck Pearson. Elijah Wan checklist card. I don't remember there being this many checklist cards. Derek Gervin. Oh, I saw the Gary Payton and the Sean Kemp rookie card in here. That's weird that there's three checklist cards. Nate McMillan, Jim Lynham, and David Greenwood. All right, now for the grand finale. Our autograph and relic card should be in here. Hopefully we get something crazy. It's a Tim Hardaway autograph card. It's not on a card though, like the description says. It's actually a sticker autograph. But Tim Hardaway Jr. went to Michigan, so that's kind of nice for me because I'm a big Michigan fan. Ooh, there you go. And then a Derrick Rose, Paul Gasol, black and gold, numbered out of 99. Relic card. That's pretty cool. Wish it was a Different player duo, but numbered out of 99, 2015-2016 Panini, black and gold. So that does it for the dunk crate. I'm not going to give it scores because I'm not actually sure if this was the regular dunk crate or the gold level. Because again, we didn't actually order this. They actually sent it on accident when we ordered the the uh, end zone crate. They sent us the dunk crate. Uh, I would say if this was the regular one, that's $59 including shipping, I'd probably get pretty good scores, uh, mainly because we had really good luck. But if this is the high-end one, the $99 one, then I'd probably get pretty bad scores because uh, these aren't really high-end, in my opinion cards the two the two uh the relic and the autograph those aren't really high end and i think the description says those are those are going to be high end cards the other thing is eat no matter which box it was whether it was the regular one or the gold edition uh it's not an on card autograph so that would that would have got it would have gotten docked points for uh transparency but other than that the variety was good and it would have gotten dock points for value too. Uh, but if it was the basic box, the regular one, then uh, it would, would probably get a decent score for value. So, so now you know what the dunk crate boxes generally look like. You know how I feel about the experience. Now I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about the cards that I pulled out of here? What's your favorite? Uh, what subscription box boxes have you tried so far? Let me know in the comments down below. I want to hear all about it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, what are you doing? <laughs> Go ahead and hit that subscribe button 
right here so you don't miss anything. And we've got a lot of great content to keep you entertained during these crazy times. We got one video for you right here and another one for you right there. So go ahead and check those out in the meantime, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.